all right guys welcome back to my channel today's topic we'll be going over my solar heating array generator now this idea is pretty simple the basic concept of this generator or where the power will be coming from is heat from the sun and the differential of the coolness of the ground so let's go into the details starting with the components we have on the ground exposed to the sunlight we have the hot heating plate we also have an AC generator, which delivers power to the off-grid power storage site. Now, let's take a look at what would be in a basic off-grid power storage site. Now, ideally, an off-grid power storage site should be shielded from the sun and other heat. Otherwise, the electrical components inside could be damaged. So that's why I have it depicted as such. Now we have the battery, which stores the power. DC power which supplies it and the control system to control the whole thing and that's it for the off-grid power storage side site so let's move on to the other components now it should be noted that there is a drawback to this power generation system and it only works when the Sun is out because when the Sun shines it could heat up the above ground components to a higher temperature than the ground components Unlike the surface components, the ground components stay relatively cool during the day, around 60 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving on to the other component, now here we have a placeholder model for any type of heat engine, as any will do, as all we need is a method to convert heat energy to mechanical energy. I'm moving on to the heating component, you see on a clear day, Several dark surfaces can reach an excess of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now looking at the system as a whole, the temperature difference could be in excess of 150 degrees on a good day. Now the temperature difference may be small for a typical heat engine, but we could compensate for that by adding multiple of these components in an array to supply more mechanical power to our next component, the AC generator. Now I chose not to depict the AC generator as accurately. I didn't use the motor as a model, but it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we have a method to take the heat energy, convert it to mechanical, and then convert it to electrical energy, and finally send it off to a power grid. Now that's basically it for all the components and how all of this works. Now this is a simple idea and I hope to one day be able to implement this as a cheap, environmentally friendly energy source. This generator would be perfect in hostile environments, such as the Sahara Desert. There's plenty of land and not much infrastructure, so we could use this as a way to generate power and not have to rely on resources or power being delivered to the area. Now, one day I hope to be able to use this technology in the uninhabitable areas of the earth. Implementing this technology will bring power and increased production in the area. This will make those areas more economically viable to invest in infrastructure, turning what was once was trash into treasure. So that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave your ideas in the comment section below. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about this method of power generation. So see you guys later.